evening, sir. Good evening, Jennings. You will pick up what is happening while it's happening, which will make you a believable presence. It will appear that I'm drinking alcohol. I won't be. You won't be either. This is the only way I could get another officer in with me. And you should assume that you will be testifying about this evening. Sounds like a fun night, sir. Brian. <clears throat> you should call me Brian. That's the one bit I struggle with, sir. And rightly so. How was your fish, dear? Lovely, thanks. Do like it when he takes me uptown. Well, I'd imagine in a dress like that he'd take you anywhere you want. <laughs> So, uh, yes, uh, our mutual friend. I'm sorry he's not been able to assist you. Oh, his loyalties lie elsewhere. Uh, perhaps uh, you could uh, outline what you have on him. Uh, that would help me persuade him to be more helpful. That's not information I could share with you. I could share it quietly with a colleague at the yard if you had someone in mind who would be suitably discreet. Of course, uh, he'd want to be bailed. Well, he's not concerned about his safety. Safety? <laughs> he's a lawyer, for Christ's sake, a civilian. Uh, there would, of course, be a lot of uh, gratitude towards you, Mr. Boyce, if you could assist myself and my associates. It's DCI Boyce. You're not here on behalf of Edwin Cooper. You're here on behalf of the system, on behalf of this. I wonder what you and your associates would be willing to sacrifice to keep that system in place, or who? Everything I have said is within legal remit. Do you think I can't be careful? Hmm? Do you think I'm fooled by this? Some little cart from Secretarial. Good luck writing this up, love. I'm a detective, and I'm glad I met you. Always known the type of people I wanted to nick. Just never had a name until now. I'll see you again one day, Mr. Clark. At least my lot are honest. You know where you are with a brown envelope. The higher you go, the better they hide. But they're villains all the same, and they're scared. There ain't many things more dangerous than a scared villain. Have they approached your father? No. They will. The day my old man affects the way I do the job, you'll be the first to know, sir. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Jennings. The thing is, sir, that was them trying to stop Cooper talking to us. Yes. Yeah, and it didn't work. I can't think of many more ways they can stop him from talking. 